Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to replace a Dyson DC-07, 14, and 33 brush roll. They are all the exact same. They are all the exact same process to replace them. This just happens to be a DC-14. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to check if you need to replace your brush roll or, and if you need to replace your clutch, but replacing the entire clutch is for a different video. So first of all, I'm going to show you how do you know if you need to replace your brush roll. Well, one thing is, if you look on the side here, if they don't stick out of the cleaner head, and these only stick out just barely, then it should be replaced. And if your bristles are broken, if you look at my bristles, mine are broken in all kind of ways. Sorry, my dog. These are broken all over, so this definitely needs a new brush roll. So, Real quick, I'm going to tell you how to check if you need a new clutch. So right now it's in hard floor mode. You're going to want to put it in carpet mode. And it is now in carpet mode. If you can easily like spin this in carpet mode, then that could be a sign. Or you might need to have some strength for this. Hold this and turn on the vacuum. If, you, and if, if the brush roll stops and you hear a ratcheting sound like this... That means your clutch is fine. If it just stops and it doesn't make a ratcheting sound, that means then your brush roll or your clutch is probably bad. So before you start, please unplug your vacuum and let's get started. So this is a super simple repair. First of all, put your vacuum in hard floor mode. It'll make it so much easier. Then you're gonna remove these or you're gonna turn these three half screws. Um, usually you just use a quarter, but I find this honestly works best. It's a Home Depot plastic screwdriver. I know it's weird, but it works really well. But really, you're just gonna use either a very large screwdriver or a coin. I highly recommend a coin. Then you're gonna remove your base plate. Here's, here's the brush roll. And uh, if you're replacing the brush roll, usually you're gonna need to replace the clutch too. The clutch only lasts, you know, maximum five, six years. And this and this one, it just got replaced recently. Um, and brush rolls usually last seven to 10 years. So uh, I would, or five, it really just depends, just check. And it wouldn't hurt to replace the clutch. It's $28 and it'll just improve the performance, but check for that ratcheting. So what you're gonna need is if your clutch is good, like mine, belts are tight, you're gonna need a belt lifter tool. This is very inexpensive, it's like $8. I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon. And what you're gonna do is actually first, uh, to remove, I, sorry, I got that wrong. To remove the troll, all you're gonna do is just kind of pull it out. So, just maneuver it out. It might be tight and you want it to be tight. This is not the easiest job in the world to get out. But you should just be able to get it out. And there we go. Here's my brush roll, broken bristles and it spins okay, but it's kind of crunchy when it's spinning and it's very um, loud when it spins. Here's the new brush roll. Now this is actually not the correct brush roll. Do not buy a brush roll off of Amazon. This is not correct. You need 40 bristles. This only has 30. So you can see it doesn't have as many bristles as the original. So I'd recommend getting a brush roll off of eBay. It's about $20. This was only $10, but please get the real one. But you can see the bearings are good. This spins fast and quietly and smoothly. So, wait, all you're gonna need to do, this is very easy, again, get your belt lifter tool right there. You're gonna take your little hook, put it down there. Please get this belt lifter tool. It is the best $8 you'll spend. And please don't try to do this with a screwdriver. It is possible, but it is so hard. I used to be a screwdriver believer, but then once I tried this, I realized, oh dang, you actually do need it. So, uh, you're just gonna lift up and over. I just do one of them, uh, really just the one closest to here. 
And then over here, it is best if you just watch from the side. So what we're gonna do is, you're just gonna pull down and maybe push up and just get that brush roll in there. Make sure that it's the correct sides apart with the space here. Okay, once it is in, you're going to spin the brush roll in so that the belt is over the correct part of the brush roll. Then your end caps need to be facing up and seat them in. If, you, if the other side doesn't go in, pull on this side and that side should go in freely. But once this is seated properly, all you're gonna do is pull, I'll move the camera back over here, that's actually gonna be best. Pull the belt off of the belt lifter tool while holding the belt lifter. Remove that, and again, keep it in hard floor mode and give it a couple of spins. There we go. So that should be perfect now. Uh, get rid of your old brush roll. It's kind of useless. This brush roll will last a while. And then you're just going to put your base plate back on. Make sure that's seated at the bottom. That's a big problem. People don't seat them at the bottom. And then seat them at the top. Make sure it's all the way on. And then tighten up your little things right there. And there we go. Then put it back in carpet mode, of course, and you should be good. Uh, always also check um, this hose, make sure it's good. It should spring the cleaner head back up. This one actually doesn't, so in this case, you should flip around the hose, or if you've already done that, you need to replace this hose. It's really cheap, it's like seven, nine dollars, whatever. And it's super easy to replace. So yeah, and there's videos on that. So if you need to replace the clutch, uh, there will be a link in the description to that video. If there is no link to that video, that means I have not made that video quite yet. Uh, oh, one, one big thing. While you're down here, check your wheels. Make sure that your wheels spin. That is a big thing. Check that all your wheels spin and they spin fine. Um, it's just you want to really check that and then you're good so yeah thanks for watching look for if you need to replace a clutch i'll have a link in the description to that video if the video is not up then i have not made that video yet so yeah thanks for watching and please share and comment if this helped you bye